Hi, this is Bill Hartzer from Vision Interactive, and I'm talking today about how to set up a Twitter account. And I know uh, that Twitter is a popular platform, and uh, it is uh, currently a very uh, popular website, but a lot of people really do not have any clue of what it is and how it works. And so setting up a Twitter account is fairly easy, but I'm just going to go through the, the steps today. First, in order to set up the account, you do need to um, go to twitter.com slash uh, sign up, and that is the um, page you're going to need to go to. Uh, there's a couple questions and a couple bits of information you're going to need. You will need uh, a full name. Um, certainly, it can be your company name, but um, I prefer you know, to, to make it more personal and use something like Bill Hartzer or your current name. Um, you need to pick a unique username and that will be your address twitter.com slash your username and uh, certainly pick up password and your email address you will need to verify your email address in order to um, show that you're a real uh, human and so forth um, that's typical on the sign up page you know there is um, obviously uh, information um, for a, you know like I mentioned your username you also will need to uh, just go ahead and, and fill in their capture code click create the account and obviously once you have verified it um, go on to the uh, the page and uh, there's a, a setup section and on your account tab you're gonna see where you have your name and, and your username um, filled out you're gonna want to go to the account um, dot slash settings area and start customizing your account and the first thing you, you're probably going to want to do is put a section uh, in this more over more info or URL area where uh, you have a link to your website and where people if they see you on Twitter they can click over to your website you'll also want to pick a little uh, online bio and that is uh, something about you, what you do, uh, what your it could be your catchphrase or your slogan of your company, your location. That's not really necessary, but it can be helpful at times um, if you are going to be wanting to target um, certain uh, cities um, and 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 keep people uh, and. Uh, be able to allow us uh, actually allow people to find you. Um, the next section is the notices section. I prefer actually to have all three of these unchecked. Sometimes I do like to on an account and in Vision Interactive we do use um, email. Um, we get a notice when we get a direct text message or direct direct uh, a direct message, but we like to keep tabs on that. Um, your picture is going to be a uh, pretty. Uh, your picture um, you're gonna need an avatar and you know, I'd like to keep it more personal in nature um, so that you can see somebody's face they can see your face and so forth they'll see if for branding purposes if you have more than one person you're gonna probably want to you be using a company a logo um, in this case we use uh, the uh, the first letter of, of it in the design you can customize your background color you can customize other things you can upload your your um, there the only other section I'd like to mention is this uh, connections tab I do suggest that you connect your friend feed in your Facebook account um, you can collect, connect uh, Google or some other applications. Um, refollow and we follow are also popular. They may be listed uh, initially. They're not going to be listed. You need, you need to go and look for refollow or we follow. Um, and then finding accounts and start following people. Um, the, the find tab, it can be helpful. And if you go there and type in your particular industry, whether it's real estate or internet marketing or marketing or or whatever you like to find you can find um, people through a keyword search here as well and it, it is helpful um, want to mention our uh, Twitter account uh, that we use twitter.com slash vision web and uh, feel free to follow us and, and we'll probably follow you back